week, we are helping you get some fun ideas for a cool night out on the town. Yesterday, Emily did some climbing at Vertical Endeavors in St. Paul. And today, I take you inside a Minneapolis landmark that was once the tallest building between the Mississippi River and the West Coast. The Fauché Tower now houses the luxury W Hotel, but you don't have to spend the night there to take in one of the best views in town, and that is what makes it a cool night out for the whole family. Fauché Tower in downtown Minneapolis is a gem any time of day, but she really shines at night. Sunset up here is incredible. So windy, it takes your breath away. And, um, but the sunset is gorgeous. And it's interesting to see what the city looks like with all the snow. Just check in at the front desk of the W Hotel and tell them that you want to go to the observation deck. Look, you can see downtown St. Paul over there. You'll pay an admission of six bucks for adults. Children 12 and under are free. Kids, I want to tell you something. So. That's the IDS Tower. When I was a kid, you used to be able to go to the observation deck of the IDS Tower, and that was the tallest building that I'd ever been in. Can you imagine being all the way up there? I don't push me to leave. <laughs> but you can't go up, but you can't go up there anymore, so this is it. This is the view. Bye-bye. Soak it in. Get there early, however, because the observation deck closes at 6 p.m. So this observation deck is open weather permitting. So if there's been a big snowstorm or something, you're not gonna be able to come up here. And get this. They have to take the snow from here, put it in an elevator, and take it down to the ground floor because they can't throw snow over the side. Because you can imagine if you're sitting there down, walking down the street and there's snow flying off the Fauché Tower, but isn't that cool? There's plenty of open space for the kids to roam, but be warned, the little ones under seven or eight might not be able to see over the edge without a little boost from mom or dad. It looks like um, everything's so small. Check this out right here. Construction on the 32-story building began in 1927 and ended in August of 1929. Back inside, there's a great little museum that details the history of the Fauché Tower with some cool interactive computer screen. It was Minneapolis's tallest building for over 40 years and is the only obelisk-shaped skyscraper in the country. The building continues to be a symbol for the man who built it. That man, Wilbur Fauché, is nearly as interesting as the tower itself. You're gonna love it up here. And don't just take our word for it. Ask Anita and Joe Smithson of Bloomington. They were also enjoying a cool night out at the Fauché. Had you been up to the observation deck before? No. Never been. What were your thoughts? It was great. Very I cool. It was windy, and I should have anticipated that it was outside, but I didn't bring a coat, so that was smart. Yeah, that's good. You got to bring a coat. Yes. Yeah, but it, it was great. I mean, the view is wonderful, yeah. and... It kind of takes you back. It's just like, wow, you can see forever from out there. Back down on the ground floor at the base of the elevator, walk down a long hall and into Keys Cafe. A locally owned chain of restaurants has been satisfying Twin Cities families since 1973. It's a sentimental favorite for many of us. Right before Grandpa Kellen died, one of the last places that we ate together was a Keys Cafe. And he really liked going to Keys Cafe. And he had a veggie omelet and it was about this big. But the Fauché location makes it look and feel like you're having dinner in Manhattan. As you can tell by the setting, it's it's unbelievable. Almost 100 years old, and a lot of the original um, decor is in here, and the floors, and the lighting, and and if you look at the bar, um, a lot of the, the stuff in the bar is all original. And so the setting itself is, um, is a lot different than the other keys. It's a great urban vibe, yet extremely kid-friendly. So kid-friendly, in fact, that I let my son conduct his first-ever TV interview with some other children who were dining at Keys that night. How do you like it here? I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like the, like, um, do you like the food? What, what, what do you like about it? I haven't tried it yet, uh -huh. but, yeah. Uh -huh. What do you think about the food? Um, I, I've uh, seen this uh, food before at other restaurants and I've really liked it, so I'm looking forward to, what, to seeing what maybe uh, is different about these, uh, this food in particular. Once the talking's done, time for some eating, topped off by one of Key's colossal desserts. Oh my gosh, those cookies are enormous. This was indeed a cool night out at the Fauché Tower in downtown Minneapolis. What about the snickerdoodle? Okay. Oh my god! 
English. Well, Dakota fun? and his open-ended questions. I know. He was so good. And then he said in the middle of it, he goes, he goes, Dad, I kind of forgot what I was going to ask. Yeah. And I go, dude, that happens all the time. All the time. You just make something up. Yeah, just smile. They'll think <laughs> you know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fauché Tower is also a very popular spot for wedding proposals, but with the observation deck and museum closing at 6 p.m., you might be able to call ahead and make some special arrangements. Really? So they will make exceptions. Sweet talk a little bit. Yes. So we'll put the phone number for you on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Tomorrow, our pal Des from KS95 has her pick for a cool night out. We're going to hang out with her and her husband Taylor as they sing karaoke. You're going to find out where they like to go and the songs they like to sing. These two do not mess around on karaoke night. That's awesome. It's 